This vlog is sponsored by Squarespace. So what should I do next? I always speak aloud when I'm working on my next video. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, this is Bill. This isn't a normal Bill Making Stuff episode. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, usually Bill Making Stuff episodes are a lot more kind of edited. This is just like a vlog thing. I just thought, you know, I make videos every two weeks. I try and get two videos out a month. And uh, I thought, you know, why not just carry this little camera around and just get little vlogs in the meantime while I'm making the episodes. And I thought, you know, if you're interested in that kind of thing, I can just chuck them up on the channel and it's just like extra content. A hobby vlog. It's like a hobby vlog kind of thing. Or behind the scenes. People make whole videos of hobby vlogs. I don't. I'm going to try and do it now. This isn't going to affect the usual output of Bill Making Stuff episodes. This isn't even a Bill Making Stuff episode. This this is going to be something else, like a... It's a vlog thing, but maybe we should call it something else, like a... We can just call it like Bill's Bits. There we go, Bill's Bits. I need to make a title card. I'll probably put that in now. Bill's Bits kind of sounds a little bit rude, which is kind of funny to me. There you go, a little bit of an insight into how my mind works. As far as what content's going to be in these little vlog videos, I have no idea, really. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. Maybe show you some of the stuff that people sent me in the mail. Maybe what I found in a charity shop that I can use to cut up and make stuff with. A uh, pound shop, is, you know, all that sort of stuff. So my next episode, the actual Bill Making Stuff episode, is me kit bashing a little company of dwarves for the Big Red Mining Company, which is a... Uh, a faction in my game Skirm. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that later. So I asked my patrons to send me some dwarves and little dwarves I didn't want I can cut up because I don't really have a lot of dwarves and uh, I mean hit, we're going to have a little look at what we got. Someone sent me a load of these little um, these little dwarves they're like little pirates but they're pretty cool already. I won't have to do much to them so it won't make a very interesting video but you know I think I'm going to use them. They've all got little muskets which we can swap out for uh, more sci-fi weapons you know but also uh one of my patrons called soup buckets or mountain cabin miniatures i think he's got a channel i'll stick a link down below he sent me a load of these really old um little metal i think that's like a is that like a halfling or something he sent me and we obviously i'm gonna have to strip them i'll do that in a minute but some of these really old gw i think they're gw yeah gw halfling people and i'm pretty sure i saw like a Also, he sent me a Berserker, which I don't think I'm going to cut up. I think I'm going to strip and stick in my old hammer collection. I'm sorry. I just, I mean, I assume you wanted me to keep this because you sent it to me, but uh, I want him. I want to keep him. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to paint strip him and uh, paint him up at some point. Thanks. I was also sent some miniatures from Boyle Hobby Time from his new game, his Wild Imaginary West. So we've got like a buffalo guy monster thing. Sasquatch thing, like a Bigfoot, I think. And I have this giant like rat creature thing, which is probably my favorite one. Uh, I'm pretty sure they all have real names within the game. I just don't really know the names. I'm sorry, Boyle, but they're really cool miniatures. The best part is that he sent a little badge with a little fish on it. Look at that. So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now Squarespace is a website where you go to make websites. Now if you have no idea how to make a website, you don't know how to do with a HTML, is it HTML? I'm not sure. And you just want to make a website about things like, you know, like a pickle website, for example. Like, yeah, yeah, like that. Like pickle perfection, that's it, Bill. Click there. Uh, if you just want to make a website that's quick and easy and clean and nicely designed, then go to Squarespace. Uh, I made this website in like, you know, it must have been like 0.5 seconds. Maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure. But it was really easy and it looks pretty good. And I will add stuff to it at some point. But uh, yeah, if you want to make your own website, there's a sale going on at Squarespace. There's a little link down below. Go and have a look after the episode, obviously. As I've already probably mentioned in this mess of a vlog, I'm working on my game Skirm. So I've got four factions in Skirm and I've already made the colonists. I made the deep troops, those kind of weird underwater mutant people. And I've made rusters. I made rusters ages ago back when I didn't really enjoy painting miniatures. So I'm thinking I might need to take them out and just touch them up a little bit, because I kind of want to do like, uh, I'll show you. Um, so I want Skirm to look a bit old school, you know, a bit retro. I want it to look a bit like 90s GW. So I like to collect old GW books and, um, you know, I like to look through them to, for inspiration. 
you know, a bit of inspiration. See, in these old books, what I loved was these old little war scenes, you know, the little dioramas they'd set up. And I think I want to do a few pages like that in my book. I want to set up some skirmishes going on in the gutterlands like this. And obviously I need all the painted miniatures. It'd be like a nice big double page spread of some sort of battle going on. I mean, compared to my rusters, these things are kind of painted at a much better standard. I mean, they might look much nicer. They're gonna look nicer in the book. I can't just have these miniatures going against kind of badly painted rusters. So I'm just gonna to have to go and touch them up, I think. That sounds a bit creepy, but uh, you know what I mean. Touch them up with paint. That still sounds creepy, to be honest. So these are my rusters that I made ages ago. Now, for a skirm, it's teams of six or more. So I just need to pick six of my favorites. Honestly, don't have any room to move in this place. Ugh. And paint water, but it stinks. Why does that smell so bad? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use oil wash on my minis anymore. But you know, paint in time with Bill is boring time with Bill. So maybe I'll just talk about my game instead, which, uh, I do now. <laughs> uh, when I'm not making videos for YouTube, I'm working on my next tabletop game, uh, which is called Skirm. Now, you've probably heard about it. I've probably talked about it before. But uh, yeah, I could, you know what? I've never really shown anyone any of it yet. And I guess this is a vlog. I can show you what I've been working on. Now, you may recognize some of the illustrations from when I did the illustration episode, because uh, that's what I made them for. I wanted the illustrations for this book. I want it to look kind of retro and old, but I also use like a, a five color palette. I don't know why, I've just stuck with five colors. Uh, you could probably tell which five, and I've just stuck with it all the way through. And hopefully people will be able to read it. My wife doesn't like it when I got like the janky writing, like when it's kind of tilted and, but that's, that's not my style. That's what I like. I'm sorry, wife. Sorry for everything. All of the rules are done. Uh, I've done all the rules. It's all written down, it's all in place, and I've got people playtesting it as we speak. If you'd like to playtest this game before anyone else, you could join my Patreon, go to Discord, and there's a little playtest area, which will you know, really help me, because I, I need more people to playtest it, basically. Uh, I mean, I playtested it against my son about six times, and he's beat me six times. There's a real balance issue, I think. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I think it looks pretty nice, uh, but we do need fluff. I like fluff. If you don't know what I mean by fluff, fluff is like those little stories they stick in rule books to kind of world build, you know, little bits of world building. This is a codex for chaos, by the way, but like this is, you know, it has all the rules for all the units you're gonna use in the game, but it also has these little, these little fluff bits, these little stories and little world building things, you know, tells, you know, nice little pictures and, You know, things like that. I mean, look how cool that is. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do right now. Now, there's a, a particular way I want to do the, the world building in the rule books. I want there to be excerpts from someone's journal, uh, from some guy called W. Lit, right? And he travels around Gutterlands and he collects stories from pubs and shops and he experiences things and he writes it all down in a journal. So I'm thinking if I just like draw up some of his journal pages, chuck them in there, like these are excerpts from someone who was on Gutterlands. And he could talk about battles and skirmishes and all sorts of weird stuff that he's heard, you know, round a pint of beer. Because I'm not a very good writer in the sense of grammar and spelling and all that. So I'm thinking, you know, if it's a journal, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, you still get the story. I still get away with not really being very good at grammar. And um, you get the world building in the book. So I've got to do a few more of these before the book's ready. I've also got to do the big war photos, you know, the big uh, diorama things, which reminds me, I've got to go back and paint those rusters. <sighs> As you can see, my setup isn't perfect. I've got a monopod between my legs and a camera just, just there. So I kind of have to peek, peek around the corner as I paint things. Hello. So there we go, I just kind of highlighted the skin and the trousers and uh, tried to catch any detail that was actually, there, there wasn't a lot of detail there, to be honest with you. I used so much super glue on these things that a lot of the detail was just filled in with super glue. But they look all right. So there we go, the rusters, the colonists, and the deep troops. Uh, the rusters look in place, they look in keeping with the rest, uh, despite the paint job not being as good. But they look all right together. British summer. So there we go. That was my first vlog episode. Uh, I picked the most flattering angle to end it on. 
this is just some of the stuff I do whilst making the videos that you see every couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I might as well just record it and put it up on YouTube. And if you want to see it, you can see it. If you don't want to see it, just go and watch the regular Bill Making Stuff episodes. You don't need to watch this stuff. Um, and if you're new and you've just stumbled across this video somehow, go watch a regular episode. They're much better than this. And also let me know down below if you enjoyed this somehow for some reason. Weird. Anyway, I just want to thank the patrons. Their names are coming up at the end. If you'd like to join Patreon and play test my game, things like that, then uh, join Patreon. Link down below. I keep whacking the camera like that and it's making it shake because I'm resting it on my belly. That's it for now. I need to go back and work on the actual, the real episode of the Big Red Mining Company kit bashing episode. And um, yeah, that'd be the next one. And I guess I need like a, a sign off. Bye!